Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about foot mapping, why we foot map and how we foot map. This is a method that I was taught at uh, doing my Bachelor's of Science degree up at Maisco College. So all credit goes to the guys behind that course. Um, so you're probably asking why do we foot map? Well, we foot map to use the external reference points on the foot to determine the internal anatomical structures. And it's when we determine these anatomical structures that we can actually trim to allow to complement the natural biomechanics of that foot. So, um, so let's go over to the foot, we'll have a look and we'll draw it on. We'll need a pen and we need a, a straight edge or a T-square to do this. So let's have a look. Firstly, to start with this, we need to um, follow sort of the step, first step of our trimming protocol and that is to clean and prepare the foot. So I normally have a wire brush with me and I'll just clean out any of this dirt in here. And we'll trim away any loose horn um, and any any fold that's uh, any sorry any sole that's ready to exfoliate. We first we start off with determining our heel origin. And now our heel origin is usually at the widest part of the frog. Okay, so we start by dissecting the foot right down the center of the frog, through the the sulci of the frog, through the apex, and up to the toe. So our first line bisects the foot into two symmetrical halves. Our second line is across the heel origins. Right, from these points where the heel originates, we draw a line up the foot, parallel to the line that bisects the foot. And we do that on both sides. Okay, so these, these are now known as our toe pillars. Here we have the white line. Um, the white line is the flexible junction between the horny sole and the horny wall. Um, where that white line meets the sole is the sole white line border. And that is where we draw our line across the toe. So we go from those points straight across. And these points here should bisect the white line and the sole border. Okay, so then from this point we draw diagonal lines from both points straight across the foot to the opposite heel origin, same on both sides. Okay, this area here is now where we've located to be our center of rotation. and should also correspond to the widest part of the foot. So we've now correctly mapped the foot and we can see um, it's not, it probably does actually correlate to the widest part of the foot. You know, there's a little bit of broken horn here, but once we dress that back, we bring that in. Our, our center of rotation is this line, which is the center of these bisected lines from the origin of our heels to our toe pillars. And it usually works in a proportion of 60%, 40%. Okay guys, so I hope you liked the video and found it quite interesting. Be sure to check out my other two videos here and here. Uh, hit that subscribe button also. Um, if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments section below. Um, I'll also do a write up on foot mapping, um, highlighting the sort of main areas that we're looking at in the description below. I'll also put a link to my website in there. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Take care, thanks for watching, I'll see you again. Bye bye.